How's it going folks? Omni Jar Bear here with a, a little bit of a three C's snack size. Um, if you know, folks probably saw in the Stackington bite size three C's that I released, which the Stackington does look cool. I still think it's much too big. Um, but you saw in the background, this massive thing. Um, to get you to picture, to give you a picture of how big it is, Here's Umi, a tenor ukulele, uh, a, a tattoo Luna tenor ukulele. It's pretty big. Um, this is a Scott Pilgrim The Game complete edition that was released by Limited Games, uh, Limited Run Games. Um, <laughs> this card looks really cool got the seven this is really cute um but for those that don't know this was released this game was released last year um quite some time ago but the game the physical edition due to uh supply chain messes and all the covid stuff and everything and production and things it got very very delayed and so um i wasn't sure when i was going to expect this also we're gonna get into this unboxing, but like I didn't realize how big this was on the on the on the in the in the in the little preview pictures, I thought it was literally I thought it was like maybe twice the size of the stacking tins, like two stacking tins together or something or like four of them, um something like that, like like not very big. This is quite. Oh, this is actually heavy. Like, it actually has weight to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's awesome. I'm I'm impressed. I don't think I, I paid it. I think I paid, like, a hundred something. Um, I don't even remember the exact pricing, but it was definitely not over, over, like, 200 bucks. And Limited Run outdid themselves. Um... Um, Limited Run, Ubisoft, uh, and then I think there's one other company involved, but they really outdid themselves. This is impressive. Um, if don't, if for those that don't know, this is Sex bob logo. That's where that's from. Um, that's the Scott Programs band. Um, and these are, these are like metal. This is like metal. This is like a real, like, gig box or something. Okay, we're going to open it up. I don't even know where to open. How do you open this? I guess I just, we're just gonna start with a plastic wrap, I guess. Oh my God, this is so cool. Um, I've been waiting for this for a long time and they also did give me a code, by the way. I'm not gonna show it to you, obviously, cause uh, you know, I, I do plan on buying more stuff from Limited Run. Um, they did give me a coupon for paying patient for five a $5 coupon um, just on that basis. Um, and um, it's good till next year. Actually, March 23rd of next year. Um, which, they didn't need to do that. Um, I'm always expect, I always expect Limited Run games to be pretty delayed. Um, sometimes because they make it pretty much limited run makes it to order. Um, in some cases, not even to order. It's it's to the the specification specific number that they have marked, uh, and you can pre order it for that number, and then they will they will you know they don't they don't actually go into production until all the pre orders are done. Oh my god, this is like a real box, folks. This is this is like a real box. This is like some kind of leather, I think. And then this is soft leather. Oh my gosh, this is this is a real treat. I am so happy right now. I am so happy right now. I can't believe this. I actually, I honestly was like, eh, it'll come when it comes, and was like completely forgetting about it. And then, yeah, this is. Oh my god, how do I open this? Is it just? Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a handle even, and it's a it's a it's a it's a leather strap or pleather, whichever one doesn't matter. And oh my god, it's like heavy, like it's it's heavy. Like I can't describe how heavy it is, but it is heavy. 
Uh, like, oh, I just spilled all my Legos. Um, not all of them. There's a, that's just a uh, uh, dots uh, bracelet thing, um, which I only got because it had Fox stuff on it, and that's a secret. But I'm working on a. Um, I'm working on a. I'm working on a. Well, it's not really a secret. I've said it in many videos. I'm working on a um, Hachimitsu florist number eight hundred number eight thirty two uh, mock at some point in the future, um, and I figured like fox pieces, little fox prints would be kind of cute to put. Maybe on the sign. Oh my gosh, I don't I don't wanna break this box. Because this this is cool in itself. And I wanna keep it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so So there's a battery in here. Okay, what oh my gosh. Okay, like this is really serious stuff. Okay, so here's the metal clip. This is so cool. This is super cool. Okay, so that, I like how it's like remove battery insulating pull tab, but it just turned on. Like, I think that's supposed to be, let's see if we can get it in focus. Pull, remove before use. I guess I'm supposed to pull it, but like, it already turned on. Oh my gosh, it's a really long one. So that's kind of cool. Um... Um, but it turned on, so that's kind of weird. Limited run, can you explain that to me? Why it started playing, even though I didn't pull the pull tab yet? Okay, and then you can... Okay, then it's activated that way. Okay, it's activated that way. You can shut it off. Um, everything is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, everything is underneath here. Oh wow, it's like a really, it's like a thick metal. Like it's a thick plastic. It's a magnetic. It's magnetic. You get drumsticks and they're like, okay, so I had drumsticks before for Rock Band that I got from a friend. Um, unfortunately when Rock Band, I gave away my Rock Band. I think, I don't remember what happened to those sticks and I feel, I'm really, I really regret it. I wish I knew why I didn't keep them, but um, so I've had real quality drumsticks and these are real quality. Oh my gosh. I think <sighs> autofocus. Come on. Autofocus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Autofocus. There's a little Scott program stuff on it. That's super cool. Oh my gosh. This is kind of, this is kind of rad. Okay. And then you have the game. You have the game, which has... I don't know what's in here. This is the behind the scenes stuff. This is so cool. Like, and you get stickers. Always great. Not to have the pull tab sticker on the sticker pad. I don't think I'm ever gonna, I don't think I'm gonna really put, use the, take off the stickers. Cause I'm, I, I like, I like the, the stickers a lot but you know you know how they are you know how i am with with uh collecting so sometimes i i, I, I don't want to mess with that um a digital guide from prima games uh no that's not sorry that's just a thing uh, a scott pilgrim pin i forgot what was in here okay i i forgot exactly what was in here um some trading cards Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Sex bomb picks. And they're um, like little translucent ones, too. That's really sick. Uh, you get a tape. You get a tape recorder of the you get the you get a you get a audio cassette tape of the the soundtrack. That's freaking rad. Um, hold on. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything underneath the tray. Um, I don't think there's any, oh, ow, that hurt. That was painful. I don't think there's anything in the tray, underneath the tray. No, there's nothing underneath there. Okay, so the tray is just that. 
we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try to put this back in. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I gotta put that on the camera. Be right back. iPhone all over the place, but this is so cool. All right, so we're gonna open this, I guess, which is the um, the actual game box. Which, by the way, folks, it's really cool. Like it's like an old, like, game cassette. I don't know if I got. I don't remember what version this is. Maybe this is just the PC version. But this is like an old school. Oh, and it even has like a pull tab, like an old school video game. Like for those that were '90s babies. Um, or even early, 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 early 2000s. Um, you'll remember these from like way back in the day, like when Nintendo games or even actually more Sega. Sega Genesis had like bulky freaking boxes for no reason that were made out of plastic. Unlike uh, Super Nintendo, which you, they went with paper boxes for whatever reason. Um, but no, Sega Genesis was like, we're gonna do these ridiculous, like, plastic boxes. And I love the cover art. I love the back art. Um, and then, of course, you get, you get what's on the card, on the trading card, the limited run trading card. And then, so these are actually regular, uh, trading cards. Or these are trading, these are art cards for, um, Scott Program. Hold on, sorry, I'm I'm trying to do this one-handedly, and it's a little difficult. It's a little tough. It's a little tough. Okay, I think I got it. This only comes in the complete edition, um, but it's little. Yeah. <laughs> They're little trading cards, which I think are super cool. This is definitely like a '90s kid uh, thing. So you have Gideon. You have the Katayan, the Katayan, uh, Katayanagi twins. You have Roxy Richter. Come on, out of focus. You get Todd Ingram. You got Lucas Lee. And then Matthew Patel. So these are all the X's you get. All the X's. I think maybe I got the PC version. Maybe that's why there's no version on here. Oh my gosh. It's like definitely as hard. Like it's got even, like I said, it's got the little uh, metal. It's got the middle plastic rack thing to hang it. Oh no, I got the PS4 version. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so there's the PS4 game. And then inside is even more stuff. So you got the PS4 game. Um, this is the complete version. Artwork is sick. Um, and then, and then, and then, you have the soundtrack on CD, another sticker sheet, and then a map of Toronto, which is the game, uh, by the way, that's, that's, that's the in-game and obviously in the comic and the movie that's the setting of the place um but yeah and then you get oh this is rad this is cool this is like a behind the scenes stuff um oh my god this is so cool this is so so cool this is way worth it by the way everyone folks this is worth all the money that i spent on it even though it wasn't a whole ton of money. I would probably even buy it. I probably would have spent even more money um, for this than I did originally. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the book. So the book has a lot of 90s references, by the way. There we go. There's the S. There's 
all these drawings in the margins. By the way, folks, if you want another reference that's like for you kids that, or for you kids that were right, got, that grew up in the '90s or early 2000s, Turning Red, watch Turning Red. It's amazing and it's great. Um, but yeah, this is the complete edition. It's so cool. Um, and uh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go off air. I'll I'll see you in the next video.